Don't waste new pennies. Examine this. PCGs graded a 1976 D. Lincoln Memorial coin at a mint state 65 red. That is why you will see what is known as a mint mark if you look below the date. Now this mint mark enables us to pinpoint the actual production location of this particular coin. The Denver Mint is now represented by the D Mint mark, and this can be significant depending on the quantity of a particular coin produced there. Looking at the front of this particular coin, you can see some small gashes and scratches surrounding the coin. That is entirely understandable given that the coins are being tossed around at the minting facility while they are being made. As previously mentioned, was produced at a mint state 65 red by PCGs. Therefore, the best grade we can receive is 70. Five points for this one. It will now be worth more money the higher the grade you receive. You'll also note that I said red. Depending on the environment and the material the coin was struck on, these coins can now be red, red, brown, or brown. Thus, this example would have sold for more money if it had received a higher rating. But consider the possibility of taking a small cent coin and turning it into $50. This particular example is what we refer to as toning. The first thing about this coin that you'll notice is the coin's striking orange, purple, and blue hues. It mostly depends on how the coin is kept. Look below the date now as well. This one comes from the Mint in San Francisco. As you can see, this coin was assigned the color red-brown because it bears the S Mint mark. The coin in the grading holder doesn't appear to be as vibrant as it did in the first few pictures when you look at the photos of it. And for good reason, the lighting is important. To bring out the coloration, businesses such as Heritage, where this coin was sold, use particular lighting angles. Even though it's all natural, the coin appears to be somewhat darker in color dot in the holder, and that's because this coin has a reddish-brown coloring. This particular coin brought in $75. Now, the reason this 1976 D coin sold for $139 is that it is an error coin with a struck-through fragment on the reverse. Thus, if you examine the coin's reverse or back closely, you can see that mint air there which explains why it sold for $408,139. Imagine now being able to get that much money for your little pennies. That alone is a huge sum of money. There's no mint mark on this 1976 coin. This indicates that the Philadelphia Mint is the facility where this coin is made, generally speaking Philadelphia. Because they are produced in such large quantities, minted coins have the lowest value. The coin from Philadelphia will either have an AE mint mark or no mint mark at all. However, the fact that this one was inadvertently struck on a clad dime blank is the reason it sold for $408. This piece of metal was intended to be struck on a dime, but due to an error, someone struck the coin on a blank dime. There are several ways to determine whether you own one of these coins. Upon first glance, the coin appears to be incorrect. Both the color and the size are incorrect. Don't overlook the weight, though. It is what you will want to. To find out the coin's true weight, weigh it. Now, since this penny was struck on the incorrect metal, its weight will differ significantly from that of a typical 1976 penny. Verify the weight of your coins. Additionally, if you haven't already, our ebook is available for free right below. Don't forget to grab that free ebook. However, once more, this coin brought $408 or $1,080 for this 1976 cent. This one received a mint state 68 red grade from NGC. Thus, the highest possible grade for your coins is 70, and this one is just two points short of that flawless score. Getting that high of a grade now might seem simple, but however, I can guarantee you that it is by no means simple. Since there is little to no chance that you will find one of these 1976 coins and receive this high of a grade, it is likely that you will choose not to submit it for grading. It might be worthwhile to grade the coin if it appears to be in excellent condition and you are familiar with grading because this example will likely result in a high grade. For a mere $1080, please spread the word about this video to your friends and we hope to see you in the next one. Now, in this particular instance,